So here I am in the forest, just taking some nice shots and stuff and uh, having a good time. This actually seems like it might be a good shot. Alright, so I got a good shot there. And uh, you know, really what I want to talk about right now is uh, the fact that you can, you know, find a way to create your life out of happiness, like a happy point of view, you know. So, so many people ask me, what should I do with my life? Where should I go? What, uh, what job should I do? Should I go to school? Should I not? You know, and, and really this is an individual choice for each person. And, and I encourage people to follow, you know, where their curiosity and where their desire goes, you know. And for me, I like I'm doing today, I'm just playing in the park. I'm just finding shots here and I'm just showing you from my perspective what I see. You know, I use the camera, my hobby, as a way to communicate with nature. So it's almost like, it's a very spiritual process for me. It's, it's almost like uh, the, the forest is telling me what shot it wants to show me, you know, what, what pose, you know. So ultimately, see here, it's kind of nice, you know, so you can see this and then we're done through. So it depends on where I want to focus my lens, is what I will see. And it's really the same thing with spirituality, the same thing with your life. You know, once, once you focus on something, whether it's your joy, this is what you will get more of. You will start to find it. You will start to look for it instead of looking for the drudgery in life. So the reason why sometimes I say don't go to school to some people is because they're going to school because they think somehow that after they're finished with one drudgery, it will lead to a happiness or a joy. And yeah, I'm all about work, but at some point, you know, work can be fun, you know, it, it's, it can be a movement of your soul, right? So I'm really always using the joy that does come to me as a messenger. It's, it's like it's telling me where I should go, what I should do, right? But so many people don't have that joy and they start to just impose their misery on anything they do. So what, what I was saying is, so so many people, they don't have joy in their life, they have misery, and then every decision they make comes from a place of misery. Whether it's they go to school or whether they go start a business, it's all coming from a place of lack, but not coming from a dance. You know, and, and I totally understand that we're, we're mortal here. You know, tomorrow could be the last day of my life, or maybe today is. And the only choice I truly have is, do I follow my joy today? Do I learn how to embrace and love life? Not avoid it. I'm not talking about using drugs or any of these types of things that people use as coping mechanisms to avoid life. I'm talking about really embracing it, really enjoying it. And when you start to dance with life and have fun, it starts to reveal things to you, gifts. It starts to reveal ways that you can make your way in this world and survive and have fun. So it's a win-win situation. It's not like this constant compromise. This, this thing where I gotta trade my blood just so I can live today. And then maybe tomorrow I'll do it again. You know, so this is what I do. I come to the forest and, you know, I started enjoying my hobbies. You know, one way you can do this is start finding out what you truly enjoy. Not what you enjoy because you think it'll lead to something, but what do you really enjoy? And you start to do this one step at a time. You start to play, play a little bit more just play one little one little step at a time. Just just try to dance just a little bit. It's like dancing one step. It seems pathetic at first. But ultimately, as you dance, you will start to find out a lot of things about yourself, what you truly enjoy, instead of what people told you to enjoy. Right? And then children, they just find out what they enjoy. They don't get told. They might get some ideas from adults, but they don't get told what they enjoy. They just naturally start to do this. So as you're working, as you're doing the grounded thing, as you're going to school or as you're doing your job that you hate, start to bridge the gap between what you don't like and what you do like. You start to play with your hobbies. And as you play, sometimes wisdom will come to you in a way that shows you another step that you can take in that direction in order to find your way to happiness and in integrating this into your life. Right? So this is the park. I got my walk down this path every day, or well, not every day, but a lot of days. And I do videos in the park. Or I do uh, pictures, you know, a lot of my thumbnails are made out of these pictures. 
So yeah, playing is tremendously powerful for guiding you in your life. You know, really the only reason why any of us is on the spiritual path is because at some point we became miserable in some way. There's something about us that's suffering and so we want to find a way to start enjoying life again. It's almost like we're on this side of the fence and we know the field is there, see? Know the field's there, the field is there to play on, but we're stuck on this side. But once you know that the field is there, that's the, that's the beginning. Now you've at least entertained the possibility that life can be play. So yeah, just, just find out what you like. And if you don't like anything, that means you're believing you're suffering a little bit too much. Or you have some ideas that you really think are true that aren't about what life is. Life is really play, that's all it is. There is some suffering in there, uh, there are some emotions, some feelings, but you are really here to play. That's where all the magical stuff came from. Einstein played. You know, a lot of the people that were the greatest, they started to play, had fun with this curiosity, with this gift called life. Yeah, so, so yeah, maybe these are a couple words that'll help you on your path. I'll start doing a few of these videos actually, just to doing some walking along and maybe you'll enjoy this stuff a little bit more than sitting my butt in front of the camera. <laughs> So thanks for listening. Take care for now.